All right, hey guys, I'm back. Uh, Sam, you know, I'm the guy who's uh, standing between you guys in the last break, unfortunately. So I'll try not to uh, take too long here, even though uh, Brian gave me an extra five minutes. So today, uh, well, actually, uh, for this presentation specifically, we'll be talking about the mobile operator and discussing Aviva mobile operator rounds, which was previously known as IntelliTrack. So let's start with a story. In this industry, the traditional methods of collecting equipment health data when you're on, you know, doing your rounds and checking your equipment lines is to do it via some sort of paper medium, right? A clipboard or something, right? Your operators go around, they check your valves, you check your pumps, you check your equipment, you write down how, you know, the state of your equipment to see how everything is doing. Now, there's a lot of problems with that. And for those of you that are doing it, you might know what I'm talking about, right? You have all sorts of vectors of issues from having ineligible handwriting, like my handwriting is absolutely horrible. Thank God this is just a PowerPoint presentation. If you guys had to read my handwriting, you would probably go blind. So some people's handwriting is really bad. Um, even if it is legible, sometimes you work in harsh environments where there's a lot of dust, there's a lot of rain, so the paper gets wet, gets hard to read, uh, paperwork doesn't get filed, paperwork gets lost, or sometimes it does get filed properly, but then it takes forever to get organized, and sometimes you just don't have the time to organize the paperwork. Long story short, it's really hard to keep track of all this paperwork and document it properly, right? So it would be easy to say, you know, let's just not do the rounds, right? Problem solved. Well, not really, because doing those rounds is essential. And this slide is, uh, you know, just kind of shows just how important doing rounds and checking on your equipment health is, right? So you can see some of the numbers here, right? 76% of equipment failures are directly related to improper operation of equipment. 82% of all components fail randomly. 60% of all safety incidents in maintenance departments occur, occur during reactive work. And 70% of equipment failures happen shortly after initial installation or major maintenance. So long story short, you can see just how important it is for frontline workers to have effective measures in place to monitor your equipment, right? It's crucial to have regular equipment health checks to make sure that your plant is, is running properly and reliably. So that's where Aviva Mobile Operator Rounds steps into the picture. So again, Aviva Mobile Operator Rounds was previously known as IntelliTrack. So if you've heard of IntelliTrack, it's the same product. And what it does is it essentially digitally transforms the traditional error-prone uh, paper process that I was talking about earlier, right? So it will help improve your plant reliability, your safety, your profitability, and really your bottom line because you'll have the right measures in place to empower your, your mobile workers. So let's take a look under the hood and see kind of how mobile operator rounds work works. It starts with the procedure builder, which is the advanced procedure configuration component of the product. So that's where you, you know, you have a drag and drop environment where you configure the procedures for your rounds. So we'll, we'll take a look at what those, you know, examples of what those may look later uh, in this PowerPoint, but it's basically your task list for your mobile operator that's going around and checking your equipment. And then you have your schedule manager, and that's uh, for advanced scheduling and workload balancing. So that's where you, know, you can schedule work through Microsoft Outlook format for your worker. And then you have Auditor Plus for work process and procedure review. SSRS stands for SQL Server Reporting Services, and that's a type of reporting that the product uses, which is uh, highly configurable and can be set up to be distributed via email or file share to you know, empower you to share the procedures and, and the, uh, the schedules of your workers. And then last but not least, actually the most important part, I would say, is the mobile component, right? So what your worker is actually using, walking around with to uh, enter the data. So it's not a paper medium, it's a mobile device. And we'll dive into that in just a second here. So the, the mobile operator component, right, with the mobile device is a multi-platform mobile device that supports Android, Windows 10, and iOS. And um, so it's compatible with iPhones, tablets, and even more you know, robust uh, industrial grade component, uh, you know, devices like the Mesa tablets. I don't know if you guys use those, but you can use those and they're uh, industrial grade, so they're dust proof and resistant and water resistant. And so um, you know, the goal is for this platform to be supported on as many mobile devices as possible to give you guys the flexibility to use uh, 
the, uh, the devices that you need. And the mobile app also supports third-party software integration with the SDK and file attachments, the ones that are listed on this page. So you can share PDFs, MP4s, JPEGs, and Word documents. So you can see that this tool was you know, developed to be as flexible as possible to empower your mobile worker while they're doing their rounds and checking on your equipment health, right? So a little bit about the workflow of uh, mobile operator rounds. It starts with the procedure development that I talked about earlier. So that's on the server side on the machine where you have the server component of uh, mobile operator rounds of the platform. And that's where you develop the procedures, develop the schedules, and uh, you know, set your mobile worker up. And next, the procedure is scheduled or placed on demand, and it becomes available to the operator for completion. So the field user is presented with the list of tasks to perform. And so at that point, they can go and do their rounds with that task list, right? And uh, these tasks can be defined with uh, several different data input types, depending on the purpose of the task. So you have anything from data entry uh, uh, you know, through uh, a digital keyboard. You could also do it through a Bluetooth connection as well, um, through peripheral devices, or automatically through uh, calculations as well from third party systems. So here's an example of a procedure, and you can see the uh, sequential tasks, right, that the operator is going through. Um, again, this procedure was developed using the procedure builder component of the platform, so on the server side. And in this procedure, it was set up, let's take a look at the, uh, the message on the right side. It was set up so that, um, you know, if the operator specifies that the oil temperature is above 180 degrees during their rounds, it will display an action message on the top right and prompt some logical check. So it's dynamic, right? You can set it up so that depending on the operator's responses and how they notate their tasks, it could uh, trigger essentially additional tasks in the procedure. So the next step for the operator is to check that the heater was off, check the oil cooler, and verify that the lube oil level in the reservoir is at an acceptable level. So these are conditional tasks that are activated on the fly as needed, right? Based on the temperature state of the oil. And this slide shows enhanced situational awareness and the fact that you can dynamically launch another mobile operator procedure within uh, you know, a procedure so you can embed them. Um, and so you know, depending on the result of uh, certain tasks, you can launch a whole new procedure as well to give you more flexibility. And so you can see here that there is a launch shutdown procedure that's in place as a response to the oil temperature being above 200 degrees. And you can also view existing work requests or if needed, create a new one as well directly from the procedure. So again, flexibility is the goal here. So another thing that I want to highlight is integration. I think this is important because uh, for successful implementation, you need to be able to integrate Aviva Mobile Operators with third party uh, data warehouses, right? Because it's not enough to collect the data and store it on the server side of mobile operators. Uh, mobile operator rounds. You can do that, but really the goal is that this is the first line of, uh, of the data flow process, right? So you want to use this platform to collect the data from the field, but you want to be able to store it somewhere. So typically that's an Aviva Historian, that's Aviva Pi, you know, you have EAM, CMMS systems, and other uh, third-party systems as well. So this slide just kind of shows you which uh, third-party software uh, Viva Mobile Operator Rounds can integrate with natively, right? So once you've collected your data from the field, these platforms can then store that data, right? So again, this includes Aviva Historian, Aviva System Platform, and Aviva Pi. And speaking of Aviva Pi, actually, specifically, uh, Aviva Pi uses the manual data logger, but there's a plan in place to replace it eventually with Aviva Mobile Operator Rounds as the manual data entry component of Pi. And I think uh, that's important to highlight because it shows just how uh, you know, reliable mobile operator rounds is, right? It's so good that it's going to actually replace the Aviva Pi manual data logger as the official method for collecting field data and, and sending it to Pi. So we talked a little bit about the problem and the solution, right? And the solution is Aviva mobile operator rounds. And here are some uh, you know, bullet points that uh, kind of prove our, our, 
our proven track record with the implementation of this product. So you can see the general you know, industry improvements that we've seen from customers that use this platform. And there's several metrics that are boosted by its use from asset uptime and availability to reduced maintenance costs, mechanical effectiveness, increasing workforce, workforce productivity, so on and so forth. And it accomplishes all of this by you know, accomplishing the, the goals that are on the right side here, right? So improved situational awareness, consistent execution of best practices because all your workers are following the same procedures that are locked in and, and standardized, innovative on the job training, improved equipment and asset reliability, um, and the capture of non-instrumented data through your mobile operator overall, right? That's really the goal here um, and you know, the goals that the platform enables you to accomplish. So all that's pretty vague, right? So let's take a look at some more you know, practical uh, data on uh, some customers that have successfully implemented this platform. And uh, you, know, you guys probably want to know what the bottom line is, right? How does this translate to, uh, how does this translate financially? What's the ROI on this platform? Well, these numbers are actually maybe a little bit hard for you guys to read in the back, but I'll read them off. But it really shows the impact of the software's implementation um, you know, in the industry. So we have some customers that see 88% reduction in pump failures in the first year, saving half a million dollars. That's a lot. 66% uh, reduction in costs of seal replacement, $875,000 savings due to reduction in production downtime, $800,000 reduction in maintenance costs, um, so on and so forth. I won't read all of them. Um, but you can see that it's you know, a very successful product, right? It allows you to save a lot on costs and reduce your bottom line. And on the right side, you can see the return on investment for uh, specifically one of our customers, Infenium. Um, so I won't read all of them, but you can see that they're able to reduce uh, their downtime, increase their operation, uh, operator efficiency, uh, reduce breakdowns, so on and so forth. So, you know, and I think this really goes to show that, uh, you know, you can see that customers want to do more than just replace a clipboard, right? That's, that's what it does, but it does a lot more than that, right? It does replace your paper and clipboard with a digital clipboard, essentially, right, the mobile device, but the overall goals are much bigger than that. So it allows you to accomplish all the goals that you can see on the right side, uh, which is, uh, you know, as proven by the case study of Infenium specifically. Uh, so I'm going to wrap this up because I know this is, we have a lot of water and wastewater customers here today, so I just wanted to uh, show you guys a case study uh, specifically uh, with a wastewater facility. And so this is Trace Rios Water Reclamation Facility. They manage more than 60 million gallons of sewage each day with assets that are spread out over 700 miles. So this is to uh, support the region's population of more than 1 million people. So they're expansive as well, just like San Jose water that uh, I discussed earlier. And what was crucial for them was to you know, implement a strategy to be able to take uh, immediate responsive action when alarms told operators about issues within the plant, right? So they want to be able to do this quickly. And so they, they used mobile operator rounds along with system platform, in touch and the historian to accomplish these goals and improve their overall situational awareness uh, in the county's water operations here. And uh, you can see the results here, right? So this is not just the result of implementing mobile operator rounds, right? It's the package of system platform, in touch, HMI, historian, and mobile operator rounds. But all of them contributed and allowed them to increase uh, their operational efficiency by 50%. Which is, uh, which is a lot, right? It's very impactful, as well as decrease their energy consumption by 10% and uh, you know, uh, manage their 700 miles of was wastewater assets successfully. And on top of that, they were able to uh, um, you know, improve the, the, uh, the loss of institutional knowledge. And what I mean by that is, if you don't use mobile operator rounds and use these paper mediums, right, you might have some, uh, some mobile operators that you know, have these tasks you know, in their head, right? So they know how to do things, right? But they're not necessarily able to share them easily, right? But with mobile operator rounds, you can take all that institutional knowledge and put it digitally in a procedure, right, to standardize it. And so this customer specifically, they were able to, uh, to do that and um, capture the institutional knowledge to train their workers as well. So as you can see, they were uh, very successful in their implementation. So this is just one example of many of uh, successful implementation of this platform. All right, thanks guys.